गुड मॉर्निंग डियर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर विक्रांत सुधाकर पाकर आई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन गोखले एजुकेशन सोसायटीज आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड सायंस कॉलेज जवाहर पालघर वेलकम इन द सीरीज ऑन द टॉपिक स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी पार्ट टील नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द यू ई स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव सीन द मास स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एंड इन दैट वी हैव कम टू नो दैट in the mass spectroscopy techniques basically a high energy electron beam is bombarded on the elect if uh, sample or analyte so that particular beam is having energy up to 70 electron volt and due to this impact of high energy electron beam the that particular molecule get ionized and subjected to the fragmentation leading to smaller but still charged structures and broken into many fragment so what happen what are the molecule we want to analyze for its mass spectroscopy it gets ionized into fragments and these fragments are broken into small parts molecule ke jo hai tukde tukde hote hai so whatever the ions obtained they are being called as a molecular ion whatever the first ion is formed by loss of one electron is called as a molecular ion that is also called as a molecular ion peak so as we have seen these ions are then separated according to mass to charge ratio in the analyzer through application of magnetic and electric field so these ions are separated based upon their mass to charge ratio and whatever the mass spectrum is obtained that is a plot of relative abundance of ions against mass to charge ratio so this is a spectrum which uh, which we get after the ionization or fragmentation of molecule so this is a basic scale, uh, block diagram of mass so this is a sample which is being injected into the ion source which is having a very high energy electron beam so it is then passes and reaches that particular due to the bombardment of electron beam what are the molecules that is being broken into the fragments and it is then passed through the flight tube so this is a flight tube here you can see these ions are now separating into different parts based upon their mass to charge ratio and then then pass through flight tube into up to the detector and in the detector we get analysis of different fragments in the form of peaks in the recorder okay what are the fragments we obtained based upon their mass to charge ratio their number of peaks will be appeared in the mass spectra so once we want to interpret the mass spectra there are different terms which we should know first is molecular ion peak that is being called as a parent peak so what is a molecular ion peak it is basically obtained by loss of one electron and that particular molecule gets converted into cation and that particular cation or molecular ion peak is a obtained by the loss and that particular general remember the molecular ion peak is equal to the molecular weight of the compound from which is generated jitna molecular weight hota hai compound ka utne value ka molecular ion peak or parent peak humko milta hai so this is a molecular ion peak is obtained after loss of one electron from that particular molecule suppose upper molecular weight hai 101 so at molecular ion peak should appear at m to z ratio 101 और जितना उसका मॉलिकुलर वेट होगा उतना सो सपोज दिस इज अ स्पेक्टर ऑफ इथेनॉल इट इज हैविंग मॉलिकुलर वेट 46 सो एट 46 यू विल गेट दिस पर्टिकुलर पिक एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर पिक विल बी कॉल्ड एज अ एम प्लस सो एम इक्वल टू मॉलिकुलर वेट प्लस आयन सो दिस इज अ मॉलिकुलर आयन पिक देन बेस पिक वॉट इज अ बेस पिक इन द स्पेक्टर यू एस सी a peak of higher density so this is a molecular ion peak and this is a base peak so remember base peak is always one 
विच इज़ हैविंग हंड्रेड परसेंट इंटेंसिटी स्पेक्ट्रा में सबसे ज़्यादा इंटेंसिटी जिसकी होगी जितना सबसे बड़ा हाइट में जो पिक होगा सो दैट पर्टिकुलर पिक विल बी कॉल्ड एज अ बेस पिक तो दैट इज रिलेटेड विद द मोस्ट स्टेबल कार्बोकटाइन स्पेसिस सो सो बेस पिक इज हैविंग इंटेंसिटी हंड्रेड परसेंट now in this particular part we are going to see a uh, one important rule that is being called as a nitrogen rule so it is applicable to molecule containing exclusively carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen halogen sulfur phosphorus atoms so basically remember nitrogen rule is applicable for the com organic compound which basically contains nitrogen in their formula so nitrogen must uh, nitrogen must be present in the form of element in the molecular form so what is the rule so uh, go through the rule if a compound contains odd number of nitrogen atoms then the molecular ion p will appear at odd mass number value so what it does it means if your compound is having odd number of nitrogens means 1 3 5 7 and so on then your molecular ion peak will also be the odd number value suppose nitrogen agar one hai to uska jo molecular ion peak rahega wo bhi odd number mein aayega so odd number of nitrogen related with the odd number of uh, value of molecular ion peak in the same terms if suppose a nitrogen is in the even number suppose there are nitrogens with let us say 0 2 4 6 then its molecular ion peak also will the even number value so remember odd equal to odd even equal to even so remember odd and even let us go through the examples benzamide as we know that benzamide is having formula c7h7on so its molecular weight kitna aayega 12 7s are 84 plus 7 plus 16 plus 14 equal to 121 so molecular weight will be 121 grams so m to z what is a molecular ion peak or parent peak will should come at odd value so nitrogen 1 1 is odd number so molecular ion peak is also odd number 121 is a odd number remember if the odd number of nitrogen is present then its molecular ion peak must also be the odd number next one aniline what is a formula C six H seven N. So nitrogen is only one. So one is odd number. Its m to z or molecular ion peak also be the odd number ninety three. So three is again odd number. Suppose even number. Meta dinitro benzene. Benzene hai or one and three position. There is a nitro nitro group. So there are two nitrogens. So what is the formula? C six H four O two N two. If you calculate its molecular weight, it will be equal to 92. So its molecular ion peak also be the even number. So remember this odd number and even number formula that will help you to cal understand for the calculation of molecular ion peak for the compound which contain nitrogen. So this is a simple nitrogen rule. Then we have understood the concept of fragmentation. As we know that first molecule get ionized ionize it get converted into molecular ion peak then that particular molecular ion peak again get fragmented into different parts okay so this is a concept so how what are the rules of fragmentation fragmentation kaise hoga molecules mein so basically as we know that molecular ion normally undergoes fragmentation to form several fragments into daughter ions so parent results into the daughter ion parent ion peak molecular ion peak will results into daughter ions and intensity of molecular ion peak is larger for linear chain than the branch compound this is very important the intensity this is related with the base peak so intensity of molecular ion peak is larger for linear chain if you are having alkenes with a straight chain so it intensity will be more if we take the two examples n pentane and neo pentane whose intensity will be higher the n pentane will have the intensity higher in case of the same so remember linear compounds are having higher intensity in branch alkene the bond fission takes place 
adjacent to the branch point this is very important in terms of the branch compound in branch compound the bond fission will always takes place at the branched com branched uh, carbon so remember the bond fission always takes place at the branching point jahan pe branch hoti hai wahan pe branch uh, fragmentation hoga first of all as fragmentation results it to give the most stable carbon this is also very important fragmentation will results into the formation of stable carbocation molecule the carbocation which will be most stable stable in terms of what what are the factors which are responsible for the stability of carbocation one is inductive effect then there also the resonance effect so these are the two factors which will help to stabilize that particular carbocation so this will be forming most stable carbocation then the molecular and preferably losses a small stable molecules like h2 ethene methane carbon dioxide carbon monoxide so basically stable ions will results in the loss of this small neutral molecules like water methane ethene carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide so these are the general rules of fragmentation this will help you to understand how the fragmentation will results in the different species we will see some other examples in the fragmentation pattern alkene suppose the methane already we have seen in the last part so methane mass spectrometer me dala so it will results into loss of one electron so it will form a molecular and peak at value 16 then again the one loss 15 again one loss 14 again one loss 13 12 so if you see the mass spectra of methane 16 15 14 13 12 16 15 14 13 12 loss of 1 1 1 carbon it is attached to four hydrogens so 1 1 1 hydrogens 1 1 uh, carbon hydrogen bond will break with the loss of 1 1 proton so ultimately what will happen 12 will be the final mass so here you can see molecular ion peak and base ion peak is uh, base peak is the only one one in case of two methyl pentane two methyl pentane what is structure this is carbon number 2 3 4 5 so two methane this is a branch compound so in case of the branch what is the criteria yahan pe pehle branching hoga this so this will be stable so this particular species will be stable okay so yahan pe break hoga fir yahan pe hoga and this is how you will get the fragments 86 first molecular ion peak then 71 then 43 and then 51 see the mass spectrum 86 you can see this is having lesser intensity 71 highest intensity is 43 already i told you this one is the this will be stable why this is a tertiary carbocation and as we know that in case of the tertiary carbocation it is having more stability than secondary than primary because of inductive effect so it will be more be, uh, base peak so 43 so this is how you will get the fragments in case of the 2 methyl pentane in case of the 2 methyl butene 2 methyl 2 butene this is a 1 2 3 4 2 methyl 2 butene so it will loss one electron then this will be a having value 71 then 71 will results into 43 then 29 and so on so here you can see 71 then this will be more stable at value for 50 50 i think 6 and then you can have the different peaks at value 14 29 so on so this is how you will get the fragments for 2 methyl 2 butene in case of the aldehyde and ketones as we know that in case of the aldehyde suppose for example acetone so what will happen acetone will lose one electron and then 43 so there will be as like a norish type one so first will carbon carbon breakdown then as a result of this cc bond breakage one fragment will be ch3 another will be ch3co so it is having weight 43 and this 43 again will results into the so here the loss of neutral molecule 
CO. Already we have seen the fragmentation. It will result into the formation of neutral. In case of the ketone, ethyl methyl ketone. So what will happen? Molecular ion peak. Then again it will break. So this will, this particular bond will break. As a result of your that you will get this bond will break CH3CO43 this will again break it to 15 like same one carbon CO will be eliminated and again pick so what are the fragments 56 43 will be 29 15 so this is how you will get the fragmentation so this remember uh, what are the fragmentation rule for different molecules let us say for alkane alkenes and aldehyde and ketones so this uh, will help you to understand how this bond breaks and which particular uh, fragment will be most stable so that will be related with the uh, base peak so go through this particular part of uh, mass spectroscopy this will help you to definitely understand the uh, spectroscopy technique what we have learned in this particular topic is the uv spectroscopy and mass spectroscopy thank you very much see you in the next session with some different topic till then study bye